Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your GraphTech FC9000 series plotter from Factory Defaults to cut out patterns for window tint and paint protection. So, first things first, I'm going to go and turn the plotter on over here on the side, the power switch, flip that up. The plotter screen is going to go have an orangish yellow tinge to it. It's going to say GraphTech FC9000-100 version of all that stuff. It's going to ask you to go ahead and please select a language. You can be right here like this, just like so. Select whatever language you prefer for yourself. In this case, we're going to go ahead and go with English. It's already preset for that. So we're going to press enter to select that. Enter on screen here. Enter for English. Now let's go ahead and select our length for the unit of measurement. We have one for metric and two for inch. We're going to go ahead and uh, leave, leave two as it is like that. And then we're going to press enter here to lock in and lock in two for inch. Press enter. Now, it's going to ask us if we want to set and want to select our cells roll. We can either do number one for roll one front edge, two for roll two current position, or three for sheet. So we're going to go ahead and specify roll one front edge here. Press one. Now that it's loaded the media for ourselves, we're ready to go ahead and go. It's going to say condition one, no, condition number one here. It's going to say CB09U plus zero. And it says S30, that's speed 30. S for speed, and then F14, F stands for, uh, stands for force, so force at 14 here. And that says a one tool, one view, two home, and then enter for condition number. So, our condition one, it's time to go ahead and change it for ourselves. We're gonna go ahead and press the condition button right here, condition slash test. Now it says here, condition number one, two for tool, CB09 U plus zero and three speed at 30 centimeters per second, and then four at force for 14. So first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is bring down our speed just a little bit from 30 here. So to go ahead and change our speed, we're gonna press the number three for speed. So we're gonna press three. And now it's this condition number one here. Configuration is at 30. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that down to about 25. Your mileage may vary, we're gonna go ahead and set ours to 25 here. So we're in condition number one, configuration is at 30. Press the down arrow here to bring that down, now 25. Let's go ahead and lock that in. Now we're gonna go ahead and press the enter button on our plotter here to go ahead and lock that in. Press enter to set it. Now you can see three for speed, 25 centimeters per second. And then number four, force at 14. Now we're gonna go and bring that down for ourselves for the force. So we're gonna go ahead and press number four for force here. And we're gonna go ahead and bring that down to about 11 for ourselves. So to change that, you're already set, set on like that for condition number one, configuration is at 14. So we're already highlighted on it, ready to go select that. And go ahead and bring that down once, twice, three times to 11. We're gonna go ahead and press the enter button here to go ahead and select that and set that in place for ourselves. Enter. As you can see, it says right here, force 11, condition one, three speed at 25 centimeters per second. That's what we want for ourselves. Now we're gonna go ahead and press uh, condition again here to go back out of the screen. Now we're back to condition number one. Now. To go ahead and set up for paint protection, we're going to go ahead and switch to condition number two. So to switch conditions, we're going to press and hold the enter button here. And it's going to give us the different condition numbers for ourselves, one through eight. So we're going to go ahead and do this here for ourselves. And we're going to go ahead and set, the set, and the set, number, set number two to go, to go ahead and change over to paint protection. So we're going to go ahead and press number two. It's going to switch and highlight number two. We're going to release the enter button now. And now you see it says condition number two, so on and so forth. Again, S30, speed at 30, F12, F standing for force, obviously. So now go ahead and change that. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and press here to go to condition. Condition number two. I'm going to go ahead and press three for speed, and we're going to change our speed down to about 15 or so because paper protection is a much thicker, heavier material. We want to go ahead and slow it down and make sure it doesn't wad it up. So we want to go ahead and press three for speed to change that. So press number three. Now it's going to go ahead and give us our option for condition number two, configuration 30. We're going to go ahead and bring that down to 15. So again, go and press the down arrow to change that. Now it's at 15 in the configuration for number two, condition number two there for ourselves. To lock this in place, we're now going to go ahead and press enter for, to set it. Press enter. I can see our speed is now changed to 15 centimeters per second. And now here we're going to go ahead and change our settings here for, for the force. Press number four for force once again. We're gonna go and bring this up to about 24 or so. 
because it's a much thicker and denser material for paint protection, so we're gonna go ahead and bring that up to about 24 roughly. So right there, condition number two, configuration is at 24 now. To go ahead and, and confirm that now and press enter to set it. We're gonna go ahead and press enter now here to set it. Enter, and there you go. Now force is at 24, speed is at 15, and now we're ready to go ahead and go back. So to return to the main screen again, I'm gonna go ahead and press condition slash test. And this is condition number two. You ready to go for that? And that's how you reset your plotter with the fact defaults. You've got patterns for window tint and for paint protection with different conditions.